Hello, everyone. Yeah, it's okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Is your girl unstoppable blessing TV? I'm kind of like I'm not going to be showing my face too much today because I'm going to be quite really busy. Welcome back again for those of you that is new here. I said hello, thank you for supporting the channel. On today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can make your own carrot cream, your own organic carrot cream from your house, how you can DIY your organic cream by yourself, how you can make this skin lightening and brightening carrot organic cream from scratch. So let me just quickly share the video. If you are just coming in, please share, invite friends to come in and so yeah everything has been laid out please if you are in don't fail to give me my thumbs up as you are in so i'm just going to be wearing my glove now just say even if you are not seeing me i'm at the background i'm talking from the background i will also show my face this is me, Amir. So I just want to introduce the ingredients to everybody before we are going to proceed. I'm not really going to waste much time and uh, I'm not going to wait for anyone before I'm just going to proceed because today is Saturday, it's quite busy for everybody. So Please, if you want to ask anything, because the other time uh, people do complain that somebody was asking me, Oh, hello, Samuel, thank you for being here. Uh, people were complaining that people were asking me questions and I was not reading the comments. Uh, before we proceed, I just want to explain a bit. Uh, this is a skin care product that we're doing. And I really need to concentrate on it when I'm doing it because I don't want to make any sliding mistake because this one is going direct to skin. So I cannot be taking comments and doing this. So today I will go through the comments, but if you're asking me any question, hello Veronica TV, thank you for being here. If you're asking me any question, I'm now giving you an answer. I'm really sorry for that. But after this video, you can go to the comment section, put your question there. Definitely, I will answer your question. So I'm just going to be introducing the ingredients that we are going to be using today. I'm going to be introducing it to you before we proceed. Okay, thank you. So if you have any question of any video that I've ever made, if it's about the soap or the base cream of the or the kids cream, just go to the comment section. Go and ask your, your question. Definitely, you will get an answer there. Because oh, thank you, Sister Nikki, for your support. Thank you. So, uh, because yesterday a lady asked me a question. It was not even more than one hour. I do reply. But if I'm busy like this, doing this one. It's kind of a bit complicated for me to be doing the both at the same time. And uh, thank you all for your understanding. So, yeah, let me just take the camera very close to everything so everyone can see it before I will take the camera back. So I believe we are all okay like this. Yeah. So this one is a carrot cream that we are making and we are going to take it from scratch. We are taking it from scratch. So all the ingredients that we are going to be making use of, I'll list everything down, but I'll be introducing it to you step by step so you know what we are making today. This one is straight. Once you finish making this cream, you can just use it straight away. Once you finish making it, there's not going to be 
anything that you are going to add to it this one is quite different from the base cream the base cream is the cream that you will have each time you want to do promising you will promise it but this one is straight cream that once we finish it i'm going to start using it this one is my cream if you want me to make the cream for you, you can also ask, but I'm giving it from zero to the end how you are going to make your organic organic uh, carrot cream. Sorry, this one is good if you it will give you that skin brightening and the whitening. In this my channel, I don't do bleaching because I'm into organic cream. So everything that you are going to be seeing today is all organic. So before we start let me show you what we have here so first thing that i do you all know i'll thank you my beautiful lady for coming as you all know this is our rubbing alcohol i'm almost running out so i've sprayed everything that i'm using i'm just showing this one for those of you that don't know the way the rubbing alcohol look like you can get this in the pharmacy, you can also get it in the boots, and uh, it's very easy to get, it's a rubbing alcohol. So this is what we use to disinfect everything that we are going to be using. We use this one to clean everything. You can put yours in a spray bottle. Each time you want to make your product, you just spray it. Everywhere is sprayed, everywhere is super clean. So I just put this here to introduce it to for those of you that is not familiar to it, so that is it. Our main thing that we need here today, you all know this one, this one is our pH. So this is what we are going to use to test our cream to know if we have the right pH level. So we also have it here. And I'm just going to introduce the carrot to everybody. This is my organic carrot, everybody know our carrots look like but this one is our organic carrot here this is our organic carrots and uh, this one is our aloe vera so i'm using a natural aloe vera but i would need more than this so because i don't have um, a lot of fresh aloe vera so I can't be bothered to go to town just because of this. So I'm going to be adding this one to it. So they are both the same, but I will tell you how many uh, measurements of aloe vera that I will have on this cream, our carrot cream that we are going to be making. So in here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven carrots in here. Then the next ingredient that we are going to be needing, I've already introduced the aloe vera to you. This one is a kojic acid. This kojic acid, you can get it on eBay and you can also get it in Amazon. It's called kojic acid and this is how it comes. So this is what I have in here. For the kojic acid, I have... Um, let me tell you, I have four teaspoons in here for kojic acid. I got four teaspoons in here. This is the kojic acid, and this is what is in here. So in here, I have four teaspoons, and this is my teaspoon. So I have four teaspoons in here for my kojic acid. And this is a uh, emulsifying wash for those to my video. You already know this one. This one is our emulsifying wash. And this emulsifying wash, you cannot make your cream without having emulsifying wash. This emulsifying wash is what is going to be bind the water and oil together. So if you want to make your cream, you want to make uh, your body lotion, you will always need your emulsifying wash. If not, the water and uh, the oil cannot be able to be bind together. So in here, I have eight teaspoons of my emulsifying wash. So this is what I have in here. As you can see, this is the picture, and this is how it looks like. It can be called 
E was, but the full name is emulsifying was. So should in case you come across it, they put E was, you are talking about the same thing. E was and the emulsifying was is the same. So some people just prefer to abbreviate it. It's kind of like, let me just call it E was instead of calling it emulsifying was. So it's emulsifying was and in here, I have eight teaspoon in here. If I really need the space, that is why I just have to be taking it out. So, eight teaspoon. Don't forget, eight teaspoon of our emulsifying was. So the next thing that we need is our mango butter. We need mango butter. So for my mango butter, I'm going to be making use of four teaspoon of mango butter this is my teaspoon so i'm going to be making use of four teaspoon of my mango butter is here and our next ingredient that we need is our coconut uh, cocoa butter sorry <laughs> is our cocoa butter so for the cocoa butter as well i'm going to be making use of four teaspoon of my cocoa butter so this is my cocoa butter and if you are looking for cocoa, cocoa butter this is what you are going to be found so this is cocoa butter we are going to be making use of four teaspoon as well so our next ingredient is going to be our we are making use of in my product i always use a lot of oil so we have a lot of oil this one is very new to everybody this one is our rope sheep oil so in here I'm going to be making use of one teaspoon and here is my MC oil so I also I'm going to be making use of one teaspoon as well then our next ingredient is going to be our carrot oil our next ingredient is going to be our carrot oil so also i'm going to be making use of one teaspoon of my carrot oil I'm going to be needing turmeric oil as well. Sorry, I forgot to bring my turmeric oil out. So, this is my turmeric oil. I will also be needing one teaspoon of my turmeric oil. Then the, our next ingredient is going to be our coconut oil. This is our coconut oil. Try and get organic coconut oil if you are making your body lotion. Always try to get the organic one. So also I'm going to be making use of one teaspoon of my coconut oil. Then our next ingredient is going to be our castor oil. So also I'm going to be making use of our one teaspoon of our castor oil. And I also need glycerin. So also I'm going to be making use of four teaspoon of glycerin four teaspoon of glycerin then we also need preservative so for our preservative we will need one teaspoon of preservative sorry guys i'm not focusing we will need one teaspoon of our preservative 
Then we also need distilled water. So if you are going to be using, if you are going to make your lotion, always try to get distilled water. Like when I mean distilled water, any water that is not from the tap, because if you are going to be making use of water from the tap, hello everyone, thank you for being here. If you are going to be making use of water from the tap, then you have to boil it and then you have to filter it. So for you to avoid all those kind of hard job, always try to get distilled water to make it more easier. Hello everyone. Oh, I can see Agatha is here. Everyone is here. Thank you guys for being here. So that is what we need today. So I'm just going to chop all the carrots now. Then I'm going to take it one after the other. After chopping the carrots, I just have to blend the carrots. Stay tuned and just wash it. I'm not going to be laying the ingredients out on the description box. So if you want to make this one, you have to watch the video so that you can be able to get the right measurement. So I'm not going to be laying it out anymore on the description box, except I shoot the video. That is when I'll put the ingredients out but if i'm going to be doing it on stage like this i'm not going to be laying out anymore the description but the ingredients will not be there anymore if you want to make it you need to put the video and wash it the way i do it so that you can get the right measurement and uh, other thing that i also want to say other thing that i also want to say if you are going to be making a large quantity just try to double everything because i try to make it in a teaspoon to be easier for everybody because we all have a teaspoon and this one is very cheap is affordable for everyone to get oh <laughs> thank you oh, thank you pastor julia thank you for being here so if you want to make if you want to be doing this one Always try to get this one on eBay or Amazon. It's very cheap. It's affordable. So if you are going to be doing it in teaspoon, it will be very easier for you to get your right measurement. So now I'm going. To, we are going to start doing our double boiler method now. Okay. So when we are going to start now, Sorry guys. All right. I think there's a bit of water on it. All right. So we are just going to start with our double boiler method now. So I'm just going to pour some hot water because I like to boil my water. Then I'm just going to put it here. Why? So I can be able to reduce the fire down. So now I need my cup there, please. Our first thing that will be going in is our Ewas. I'm going to be pouring the Ewas in here and for the Ewas we have eight tablespoons of Ewas. Sorry, eight teaspoons of Ewas. Sorry guys. <laughs> Is an eight teaspoon of Ewas. I repeat, eight teaspoon of Ewas. That is what is going in here. Then for the next one, so I'm just going to put it on the double boiler method now. So our next thing that I will be adding to it is going to be our cocoa butter. It's going to be our cocoa butter. Then I'm going to add our cocoa butter in here. So I will be using four teaspoons of our cocoa butter. That is what we'll be adding to this one. 
I don't don't use um, high heat when when you are doing it because if you are using high heat, you are just going to be killing the vitamin that you'll be having on your product. So it's always good as you can see. My fire is very low because I've already boiled the water. So you don't need too much high heat for you to be able to do your double boiler method. So I believe everybody is seeing it. If you are not seeing it, just let me know. So I'm putting four teaspoons of uh, cocoa butter. I will need something to push this one out, to scoop it out. Let me just get one hard teaspoon to be able to be scooping it out. God, it's very hard in here. So, we need four teaspoons. That's two. That's three. Then four. Don't forget, we are making our organic carrot cream. This is our body lotion for brightening and uh, lightening. So we have our four teaspoons of cocoa butter inside already. Then this is out. Then our next one now is uh, mango butter. And we are also going to need four as well. So this is one. This is two. Three. And four. So do not forget we are using a teaspoon, it's a teaspoon, it's not a tablespoon, it's a teaspoon. We are going to leave everything to be getting ready while I will start shopping the carrots. So I just have to lay this one aside now. I just have to chop the carrot now. I hope everybody see me. Yeah. So I'm just going to be chopping the carrot. I need to chop the carrot in a very small piece. So that we can be able to blend it very well. I'm supposed to chop this carrot down. It's quite hard to do. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm just going to chop the carrot. I need to put it in a very tiny piece. Very tiny. It's not hard to do. And all the ingredients that we are using today is very easy to get. Very, very easy to get. Don't forget our oil is on the, our butter and the ewas. We are adding it on our double boiler method. And don't forget I'm making use of seven carrots. 
that is what I'm using. I'm making use of seven carrots. If you know that you are a content creator, just do the right thing because as you all can see, my hand is loaded, busy. I'm not taking part on the comment, but if there's anyone that I need to be answered, I will do so. And for any question about this cream, after the video, go back on the comment section, go and leave your comment there. Because I can't be here and also be there. I'm really sorry, guys, but we are together. We are doing it together. If you want to ask me any question about this cream, feel free to come back to the comments, comment section to ask. If it's the comma session, I don't know. Just come to ask. I will be there. For those of you that is watching us from the first time, don't forget you are on Unstoppable Blessing TV channel where you can DIY your products by yourself, where you can do everything on your own. That is the channel where you have. We do DIY of our hair products here, our shower, soap for lightening and for brightening. We do it here, our body scrub, our facial tuna, face mask. We do everything on this channel. If you are joining us for the first time, you are more than welcome. And everyone that is with me today, you are more than welcome. Shout out to you all for your time. Your time means a lot to me. I do appreciate everybody for being here. I really appreciate everyone for your time because it's not easy to be able to have that time free on Saturday is a very busy day for everybody. So let's make this magic happen as we all are here. Let's do it together. I am still shopping the carrots. This is seven carrots, it's quite a lot. I'm still shopping it. Yeah, I'm shopping the carrots, so I'm just going to put some in the blender because I have this place packed up because I need this one to be blending now. Don't forget, I've rubbed every, all my things that I'm using with rubbing alcohol. So this is my carrots. I've not finished shopping all yet. This is not all the carrots. I've shopped uh, three. No, I've shopped four. Sorry, I've shopped four now. So this is four carrots in here. So I'm just going to blend this one. Now I will tell you why we need this, our distilled water. So this is my cup. Yeah, just wash it. This is half cup of water, of my distilled water. So I'm making use of half cup now for my distilled water. Then I just need to pull some here because I need it to blend the carrot because I need the juice out of the carrot. Just help me out for the blender so that I don't need to take much time.
I'm just trying to take this out of here. Yeah. Um, thank you. All right, so before I go, a little assistant behind the camera so it can help us to blend the carrots. So I'm still chopping the carrots now. I believe everybody can see me. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. So I'm still shopping it. So we are going to be having the color. Sorry about the noise. Blending our carrots now. Yeah, this is how we make our mm -hmm. carrot cream. I'm still going to take half cup of distilled water. So at the end, we'll be making use of one cup of distilled water. For the seven carrots, we're going to make use of one cup of distilled water. ready now so we are just going to thank you so this is our strainer we only need the carrot juice we are still going to blend the leftover carrots but we just need this one to go here So that is our carrot juice that we are trying to get out here. Yeah, we don't need the pool. We only need the carrot juice. 
So we are still going to blend the leftover carrots. So this is pure organic carrot cream. It's good we know what we apply in our skin. It's very important we know what we apply in our skin. Just we know. Very important. So go and get all these things ready and make one for yourself if you love carrot cream the way i do so i'm just going to press it down you can see the way i'm doing it You just press, make sure you get all the juice out. So we are still going to need more because we need 300 ml of carrot juice. That is what we are going to need, 300 ml. So as you can see, we still need more juice. So we have our second carrot be blended. So I'm coming. I need this to blend the aloe So we have our blender back because we are going to need it again. So it's ready. So our next step now is our aloe vera. Let me have this. So 
So I just have taken the side out. So what we need to do with the aloe vera now, we are just going to put it on the blender because we need to blend it up. So I will tell you the measurement of the aloe vera. It's kind of too big for me. So let me make it on a small piece so that it can go more easier for me to do. Don't worry if you can't get all the fresh aloe vera, there's no problem because provided this aloe vera, if you can't get the fresh one, don't worry for that. We are just going to scoop everything out of the aloe vera. For those of you that is just joining now, Thank you for coming. We are making our organic carrot cream. This is our body lotion for lightening and brightening. That is what we are making today, pure organic. That is why I want everybody to be here. So you see how we make it very easy and you just have to take it step by step. Please, even if your hand is clean, always try to wear gloves because to avoid bacteria on your body lotion. Always try to get yourself gloves once you are doing your body products. If you are making it for personal use or even if it's for sale or for gift, try to have your glove on. So I'm going to be taking the measurement of my carrots now because we need the carrot juice to blend the aloe vera. So I'm going to be taking the measurement of my carrot juice now. Bear with me. So I have my aloe vera in here now, but because I didn't have enough quantity of the fresh aloe vera, so I'm going to be using my teaspoon. Like I will be adding, let me see how it goes, maybe like, uh oh, two, three, four. Five. So when I've finished blending it, I will tell you the quantity of aloe vera that we'll be having here. I will tell you with this measurement so I can tell you how many aloe vera that we'll be making use of today. Because everything needs to go with right measurement so that you can have it right. So this is going out now because I need my space. So now this is our kojic acid. It's four teaspoons of kojic acid. 
For those of you that just join in now, this is our kojic acid. This is the, this is how it come. This is the way it look like. This is kojic acid, and we have four teaspoon of kojic acid. I'm going to be adding the four teaspoon of kojic acid to the aloe vera because we are going to blend the both together. All right, please rise this for me. And now I need to take the measurements of my carrot juice. So we need to strain it again for the second time because we don't really need the poo to go in. So we are just going to strain it again for the second time. Do not forget we need 300 ml. It's almost there, wait, you are blocking me. Yeah. Let me show you guys. As you can see, I still need the drop to get it right. Yeah. Yeah, this is 300 ml of aloe vera juice. That is what we have here. Do not forget, for us to be able to get this quantity of our carrot juice, we blend, let me take this one out. Yeah, before I blend this. So for us to be able to acquire this uh, 300 ml of aloe vera, of uh, aloe vera, sorry, for us to be able to acquire the 300 ml of our carrot juice we blended seven carrots do not forget we blend seven organic carrots for us to be able to acquire this 300 ml of carrot juice so now i'm just going to take a bit of the carrot juice to be able to blend the aloe vera and the kojic acid so i'm just going to put a bit to blend so because we need a liquid for us to blend do not forget we only make use of one cup of distilled water we only make use of one cup of distilled water so i'm going to be taking this one out of our way now because we don't need this anymore So this is our kojic acid and uh, our aloe vera. And for the aloe vera, for you to be able to get the right measurement of your aloe vera, you will need half cup. This is half cup of uh, water, like normal water. This is the half, half cup of it. So you will need half cup of aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice. You can get the fresh one, you can buy the other one, just, you see in here now, I have the fresh one and the other one that has been prepared. So you blend it together. So you will need half cup of aloe vera. This is the half cup. So now I'm just going to add everything together. And don't forget, you can never ever mix a cold product with hot one. So now we are going to be 
putting our carrot juice with aloe vera that has been mixed together now. We are going to be putting it on a double boiler method. Do not forget, you can never hard cold and warm together. They both need to be on the same temperature. pressure. So this is our carrot juice now, 300 ml with our kojic acid and our aloe vera will be going on our double boiler method i hope we are all understanding it so i'm just going to get it ready while that is getting ready i'm just going to be adding all my oil to this one so all can be on the same temperature do not forget that we have all our mango butter in here cocoa butter in here he was in here so now because the temperature is still all right we are just going to be adding our oil to it so just wash it this is our coconut oil for the coconut oil we are going to be needing four teaspoon for sorry for the beginning i said one well, that was i made this a four teaspoon that we need for the coconut oil this is one two three four now we added our four coconut organic oil The, our next one is going to be our glycerin and also we are going to be needing four teaspoons of our glycerin our vegetable glycerin one two three four do not forget this is a teaspoon our next oil is going to be rose hip oil so we are going to be needing one teaspoon of our rose hip oil look at it you can get this on Amazon or eBay as well. So we only need one teaspoon. Our next one is going to be our arm seed oil. We also need one teaspoon as well. So because this one come as a drop, This is I come, it come like a drop, but we are just going to be needing one teaspoon. Our next one is going to be our castor oil. This is our organic castor oil. We are going to be needing one teaspoon of our organic castor oil. Then our next one is going to be our carrot oil. Also, we also need one teaspoon of our carrot oil. Our next oil is going to be our turmeric oil. We also need one teaspoon of our turmeric oil. Okay. 
So we have, yeah, as you can see, our carrot juice is well ready. So we are just going to put this one for like one minute or two minutes because we have it out before because the boats need to be on the center pressure. Okay, so now that we have the boats on the same temperature, then we have to do our nest. So that is out of our way now. We don't need it anymore. Then I'm just going to bring everything close to you. Now you see the way we are going to do our finishing of our cream now. So we are just going to add our carrot juice in here. And we are also going to add our oil and our butter together. and everything is super clean it has been well disinfected but i'm still going to like because i have it for a while i'm just going to pass my rubbing alcohol around it again because i was having it down there i'm just going to pass my rubbing alcohol around it to make sure that everything is on the right place so and just wash our lotion now.
So this is our cream now. This is our carrot cream. So we are just going to add our preservative to it because it is on the right pressure. But do not worry. If you make your cream and you are noticing a bubble on top of it, just wait for like a few minutes and let it get cooled to the right pressure. If it gets settled to the right pressure and you notice that you are still having bubble on it, that is not nice, do not worry. What you just need, you just need to like sprinkle like a few of a rubbing alcohol to it to avoid the micro microorganism because it's not nice once you have your cream, your body lotion, if it's well settled and you are still noticing that you have lots of bubble on it. But if you just finish blending it, you will have some bubble but because you were blending it. So you will wait and wait and give like five minutes or to 10 minutes. You see if the bubble will get settled. But if the bubble is not settled, then you just have to add like spray a bit of rubbing alcohol to it to avoid for any contamination of a microorganism. So now we are just going to add our preservative. So now we'll be adding our preservative. So I'm going to put preservative. So I just put one drop of preservative to it. Then I just have to mix everything together. Then we are going to be adding our fragrance. You can see the bubbles is going down already. The bubbles is going down. So as the temperature go down, the bubbles will be getting going down as well. So now we are just going to put fragrance. So for fragrance, you can use any fragrance of your choice. That is what I always say. So for me, I will be using rosemary. So I'm just going to, fragrance is just how you want your cream to smell. So I'll be putting five drop of fragrance. So now this one is just optional. So I'm going to put five. One, two, three, four, five. So I just put five drop of my rosemary as a fragrance. So I'm just going to mix everything together. I can also blend it if I want. So I'm just going to mix it. Then I will blend it for me to be happy with the preservative and the rosemary fragrance that is well blended together so that is your carrot cream check the pH. Now we cannot just say super because we have not checked the pH of our cream. So as you can see, the bubbles have disappeared. You see? So there's no more bubble in our cream. Everything is well settled now. It's the time for us to use our master planner. This one is what is going to tell us today 
if what we do is on the right pH level or not. Do not forget, we are expecting five. Yeah, we need to have our yellow color. That is what we are having. We should be having. So let's go now. Wow. <laughs> I'm a star. Look. You see the color did not change. You can see at the bottom. This is the cream. You can see the color did not change. So that means the cream is ready to be used. So just let me show you guys now. How oh, that is my body cream. Hello. This is me. I've been behind the camera. This is me. Yeah. So voila. This is my body cream. Super ready. So you can get one. Make it for yourself. You see. It's not very hard to do. <laughs> so our cream is fully ready now. I'm just going to apply it to my skin just for everybody to know that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So our cream is ready now. It's ready to use. You don't need to wait for any hour. You don't need to wait for anything. The pH, I tell you that the cream is ready to use and is ready to use. So if the pH tell us that it was not ready to use, then we have to take it in the right way. But because the pH have already tell us that the cream is ready to you, so what are we waiting for? Hey, look at my nail code, it's super. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Pelagi, thank you. So this is the cream now, and look, look how beautiful it is. So this. You see, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, oh my God. Thank you, thank you, Queen. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So this is our carrot body lotion for lightening and brightening. You can see that is the cream that I'm using. So I just make it in the front of the camera so everybody can know how I make my body lotion. This is my organic body lotion. I keep on trying different one every time because I just have to try. So this is mine now. I'm going to put it in the container, then I store it. If you want to ask any question about the cream, you want to say anything, you want to ask me any question, feel free to come to the comment section and ask me, put it down so that we can see where. Oh, all right, okay. So, this, this is it now. Let me take everything out of the way. Can everybody see it where now? <laughs> it's for me alone. So, this is the cream. So let me put the camera face to the cream so everybody can see it well. So, that is our cream. That is our carrot cream, fully loaded. All right. So, Queen, have you seen it well now? Thank you, thank you. So, this is our cream is ready to use. I'm just going to pass it in the container. I'm just going to pass it in. Thank you, Cynthia. So, our cream is ready to use. 
Thank you everyone for your time. So I'm just going to put it in a jar so I can show everybody the way our cream look like. Wow, I'm so excited. Trust me, oh, because I run out of cream already. I, that's why I could not wait just for me to do it today. Trust me. Thank you, Sister Nikki. Thank you. So this is my jar now. So it has been disinfected. I have my rubbing alcohol on it already. So I'm just going to be passing the cream in here now. Let me turn the camera to it so that everybody can see. Thank you. I will post yours. I'm going to post for everybody. Just be dropping your address. <laughs> you see how beautiful he is. So this is our organic carrot so this is it this is our body lotion is fully loaded with everything pure natural this one will brightening and lightening your skin it will glow your skin it will exfoliate it it will make your skin to look supple trust me so thank you everyone for your time and thank you for watching for any question go to the comment section this woman will be there to answer you thank you and i will see everybody shortly enjoy the rest of your day thank you all for watching please share the video to your friends and family let them make one for themselves Okay, bye-bye for now.